Do you mind? I'm trying to film a video about how I'm getting rid of you next week. It's because I'm talking about the pink fringe. It's never done that before. It might have something to do with the fact that I took almond milk out earlier and I left the door open for an hour. Maybe an hour and a half. I hope my camembert's okay. Still stinky, it's fine. We're gonna have to move this elsewhere. But today, I'm telling you about my brand new pink smeg fridge that I found in a charity shop. Okay, let's move. <laughs> Possibly the best thing that's ever happened to me has just happened. This is like number four on the best days of my life. Number one is BTS Wembley day two. Number two is BTS Wembley day one. Number three is being born and then number four is today because I found a pink smeg fridge in the charity shop. In the charity shop. Best day ever. Best charity shop find of my entire life. Okay, see you soon. Yes, I found a pink Smeg fridge in a charity shop and I'm gonna tell you all about it today and I'm actually going to declutter and reshuffle my kitchen a little bit because it, frankly, as it stands right now, it is not ready for royalty to arrive. And by royalty, I mean my pink smeg fridge. Ah, I'm so excited. This story starts about two weeks ago. I was minding my own business in the British Heart Foundation furniture store. I was looking for a desk for an upcycle for a video and I saw this awesome rattan desk for 15 pounds. It has drawers. It is just, it's like looped cane, it's beautiful. I bought the 15 pound desk, it is now sat right in front of me, completely in the way of my doorway. Um, but it, it's a very good purchase and I wanna do something with it for a future video, so keep your eyes peeled. But I left the store, put the desk in the car, and I was actually with my nan. And then she says, did you see that pink smeg fridge? And I was like, what, what pink smeg fridge? What are you talking about? She's like, yeah, the pink smeg fridge. And before she even finished the sentence, I was out of the car and I was halfway into the store. I ran at speeds that my high school PE teacher wouldn't believe. So I get there and in front of my very eyes, the fridge of my dreams, the retro style pink, pink smeg fridge of all colors. It was pink as well. And it was sitting there just waiting for me to buy it. So without even thinking about it, I raced to the counter with my debit card and I was like, pink fridge, take my money, please. <laughs> Luckily, I desperately needed a new fridge. So I was saving a little bit for it because my fridge is too big. It needs a lot of maintenance. So I bought it. The fridge itself was 250 pounds, but because they sell brand new for about 1,500, I thought this is a pretty good deal. That's like a one sixth of the price. So bargain, had to have it, couldn't fit in the car obviously. So um, getting a delivery in two days time, I've been waiting two weeks, it's painful, but that gives me time to, well, it's given me time to try and eat all the food in my fridge and to rearrange the kitchen because quite frankly, the kitchen is atrocious and I would be ashamed to show my new Smeg fridge the kitchen in the state that it's in right now. So why not do the rest of the decluttering with you, get my kitchen ready, and then we will um, we'll see the new arrival in two days time together. As you can see, this side of the kitchen looks pretty good, just like a regular kitchen. But this side of the kitchen, not looking so good. In my defense, I started decluttering the Welsh dresser yesterday. So we now have stuff all over the floor. 
And then the fridge is not brilliant because I had a big bin full of bags over here, which I decluttered yesterday as well. I've got like 25 too many fridge magnets. A pile of shoes that just came out of the wash, and by just came out of the wash, I mean I did that two months ago. Look, look, I know it's bad, but we're working on it today, so it's gonna get better. New year, new fridge. This is gonna be decluttered. Let's do it together. Good morning, this is the current situation. I packed up lots of stuff to give to the charity shop. I've got another box as well. This is looking tidier. I'll get to that. There's a few bits in the fridge, but I spent last night cleaning out and defrosting the fridge and the freezer. So it's nice and clean. So I'm gonna take those out now and um, very soon we're gonna have a new fridge. It doesn't look that bad now, actually, that it's clean, but um, although it's been good to me, I still have to say goodbye. <laughs> It's going to be your Christmas present to yourself, is it? Or have you managed to convince someone to buy it for you? It, it was my Christmas present to myself. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm so happy with it. Hello. 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 I let it sit for like four hours, which is what the delivery guys recommended, then plugged it in. Then I gave it a deep clean, which I've spared you because I think one fridge clean montage for one video is enough. Um, but look at her, isn't she pretty? Hear me out, I'm thinking of moving the fridge to that wall. But bear with me. Because when you come into the kitchen, you can't really see it. So what if I try and put the fridge there and this in the corner. What's the worst that could happen? I can I can just move it back if it looks a bit weird. Also, yes, I um, still haven't finished decluttering that little pile right there. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. It'll be gone by the end of the video. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. I'm gonna move that. Do you like my onion bowls? We got them in the charity shop. Oh, they're really cute. <laughs> how many red onions does one woman need? Snacks. Unnecessary vases. Yeah, it just, it's its not quite right. Especially from this angle. Okay, let's move it. <laughs> let's pretend this didn't happen, okay. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm gonna hoover that first. <laughs> okay, let's move it all back. Yay. <laughs> the radiator's not on, don't worry. Okay, well that was fruitless, but we tried. That is much better. Right, let's do some tidying up and restyling and I'll show you what it looks like. Can we pretend 
pretend that's not here. That's a piece of skirting board that won't fit under the stairs. So, so many mugs. <laughs> so many mugs. I've made like a coffee station here and I've sorted the cabinet behind me so there's no clutter on the outside of it. I don't know where to put my bag full of bags. I think I'm gonna shove it down the side of the dresser. Don't tell anyone. It's between you and me. That corner doesn't exist. Just pretend it's not there. I've cleaned the fridge from top to bottom and the only thing that's stressing me out now is the handles. No amount of stainless steel cleaner is bringing them up nicely. So I did some research and people online were saying that this car polish is meant to be really good for Smeg fridges. So I'm gonna try it and let you know if it's worth the hype. Oh my God, it's working. No way. Before and after. I think it's safe to say that this stuff works. I bought it off of Amazon, I think it was like £4.50. And this is how they look. Just note, try not to get it on the plastic because apparently it's got something in it that can cause little like micro scratches. You know what? I think we're done. So let me show you what it looks like. of how this pink fridge came into my life and now lives in my kitchen. Uh, best charity shop find ever. And I thought, you know what? I do charity shop hauls. I dedicate entire videos to all the little knickknacks I find in charity shops. Today, we're going to do a video dedicated to the, the best thing I've ever found. So um, let me know in the comments below what is the best thing that you found in a charity shop or second hand, have you ever found one of these? Or any of the Smeg appliances, I'd love to know. Is this a one in a million find? I don't know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Happy New Year. I can't wait to crack on with some more content. So I will see you next week. Bye.